Okay, so it tops out a lot quicker, but its acceleration is way better than the top fuel. And it's a burning missile. Oh, yeah. You think they're aggroed on us? And oh, what the, oh, what the heck? YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of BeamNG Drive, and today we're going to be checking out two new mods. So if you recall, we did play with the Dragster not too long ago. It's the Mio Dragster. I'll have a link down to the Patreon uh, in the description. Well, there has been an update. Of course, you have the normal Dragsters, but in the most recent update, we have something that I've been wanting. This is a Jet Dragster. So yes, there's a jet motor, or jet engine, I should say, strapped to the back of this, and I'm assuming this thing has some absolutely insane speeds. Now, you're probably also asking, well, Komodo, what's the other mod? Well, you're looking at it, because this is actually not the normal West Coast USA. So if I hit escape and I go over to the weather, check this out. We adjust the time, and let's go. We look at this. We actually have a version of this map with lights. Now, I must say it's not completely lit up, uh, but I think later in the video, so stay tuned, we're gonna try a night police chase. Like I'm gonna get some sort of street tuned car. I will do like full headlights. I'll probably have to do like the hood cam or something that way I can see a little bit better. But I think it would be pretty cool to see like the police headlights in the distance. And overall, it's a lot better than the default map when you uh, set it to dark because you pretty much can't see a thing. But yeah, there's actually some really well-lit areas like the tennis court for some reason. I uh, wish we had a little bit more light maybe on the uh, the city streets, but I think this will be pretty awesome. So we'll do that later in the video. So anyways, if you guys are enjoying BeamNG on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you got any ideas for videos, comment down below. But first we're gonna do a little test here. So this is the top fuel dragster. Let's go ahead and do a run with it. Kind of give you guys an idea as far as the speed. So here we go and let's do this. All right, it's winding up. Oh, it's fairly decent. I feel like we could have got a little bit better run there. Uh, by the end of the drag strip, we are at close to 300 miles per hour and uh, we're flying. I uh, know it doesn't have working parachutes yet. I don't know, is that even a thing that's possible? I mean, BMG actually has a fairly uh, sophisticated, uh, I would say, aerodynamic model. So I wonder if you could put a parachute out, would it actually uh, help slow these things down? But you know what? The trees work pretty well, too. So right around 300 miles per hour. This is the uh, the nitrous one. Uh, I don't think this one's actually any faster. There is a twin turbo one. Let me load up that config real quick and see if it maybe runs faster than the top fuel. Actually, I think it's already set up down here. I thought maybe I'd have to load it in and oh. Yeah, this is a little bit newer one too. Look at the engine set up there with the blowers. That is cool looking. Holy man. Okay, let's go ahead and activate nitrous. I still don't think this is gonna beat a jet dragster, but uh, maybe it'll beat the uh, top fuel. Let's get right here. Okay, we are ready to go. All right. Oh, wow. That is fast. Oh, okay. So it tops out a lot quicker, but its acceleration is way better than the top fuel. And it's a burning missile. Uh, wait, what is that on fire? There's something going through the sky that's on fire. And oh, that was a pole. I must say, this thing's rather impressive. It's gearing, though. It, it like tops out probably right around the 310, 320 area but it is definitely a lot better than the top fuel as far as acceleration. So, must admit, pretty impressed there, but I mean, nothing's gonna, oh, there it goes. Nothing's gonna go against this bad boy, right? Do we need any sort of wing on this or is this safe? I mean, I don't think it's safe. Oh, look at the interior on this. All right, here, let's edge forward. Oh no, I can feel it. So this thing has, of course, the jet motor, but it also has an electric motor, I guess, to drive. I don't know if there's a way to deactivate the jet to where you're maybe driving around on the electric one to maybe get up to the start line here. But yeah, I mean, we're gonna hold it wide open and see how fast we go. All right, so we're not counting to the finish line. We're counting actually to the actual end of the strip to where you die. So let's see where we go. Boom, all right. Uh, that is, oh no, 300. We're gonna hit four, oh, 400, about four, oh. I think we just hit 500 miles per hour. That's like the fastest we've ever been able to go on that. 
I'm impressed though, because the tires held up. I mean, until we hit the big wall over there, but it's fine. Uh, but here, let's try it again. Okay, let's get one more read on it. I kind of drifted off that last time. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right. Dude, that is so cool. All right, let's go 400 and 500. Did we explode because we hit the wall or did we explode because we hit 500 miles per hour? Also, the jet is gone. That is essentially a missile now. And we've landed in the ocean. You know, I feel like we need a little more straightaway. What do you say we take this out to the highway? Oh yeah, this couldn't possibly be that dangerous, right? Let's try this without traffic to begin with, but we might actually add traffic uh, just for fun effect. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, so do the wheels blow off or what happens? It looks like the dragster gets longer. Holy man. Oh, a 520. I think, oh, what? I think we just broke physics. So, of course, it feels like the uh, the concrete here, the asphalt, I think it's like a mixture of asphalt and concrete. It doesn't have as much grip as the drag strip, but we still were able to do it. Uh, it was about 520. Oh, I'll see if we can get a little bit better run here. I'm trying to angle it to the inside. Uh, it said like 560 or 570. That is incredible. All right. I didn't think we were going to be able to one-up the dragster, but of course, it's a no-brainer. A jet dragster. Now, here's the question. Can we get more jets? Uh, maybe we can do a stronger jet. I don't know. I feel like we're already breaking physics. All right. Let's do this one more time. I just want to do a run aboard this, and then we'll uh, switch this to night. Uh, oh, yeah, and also we're gonna add some traffic real quick. Dude, that is incredible. The sense of speed Wait, the front wheels totally blow off at about 520. All right So now we just need to get indestructible wheels and maybe we could break that record I think we could easily go to 600. That would be incredible. All right, so we have some traffic here. Hey, there's the cops. What do you think they would think about a dragster blowing by at 500 miles per hour? They probably wouldn't be very happy, right? All right, here we go. Okay, we got to maneuver this. How are we doing this? Okay, here we go. Uh, shoot the gap, shoot the gap, shoot the gap. Oh, yeah, you think they're aggroed on us? And oh, what the, oh, what the heck? We just murdered that Autobella. Oh, and we got a cop. That was a twofer there. <laughs> Ah, that was incredible looking. Uh, let's do another run. I can't believe we completely shredded that Auto Bella apart. Uh-oh, they took off one of my tires. I need that. Ooh. <laughs> I have a question. Where does the jet end up? Because clearly the jet detaches every time. I feel like it's a missile. All right, here we go. Okay, try to dodge him. Oh, up, 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 up. Running in traffic with the jet dragster is insane. There it is. Look, the missile went forward. Oh, it just shot to the side. Oh, it went through the sky. It totally fires off. That is lethal. Like, no telling where that actually ends up. If that hit another car, that'd be incredible. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, no, I lost the wheel again. And I feel like we need to watch this in slow-mo. All right, so we've toggled slow motion. So... We're fired off now. So let's see how fast we actually get going in slow motion. We're at 100. Oh, we know this bad boy's capable of 500. Oh, that looks incredible. But yeah, you can see the chassis actually starts to stretch. And it's bowing, like it's bending. Oh, there's a lot of flex to that. That's so cool. All right, picking up good speed. We're almost to 300. I mean, it just looks like we're barely rolling here. But when we touch a vehicle, we're going to shred through it. I also want to pay attention to where the rocket goes. I like that though, like it is loose. It, and you would think if this was real life, a lot of vehicles like this, like dragsters, that they're cr if they crash, they're meant to shred apart. Like you're meant to dissipate energy. So a lot of times if you see a, a major accident, the engine does not stay attached uh, to the chassis. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Uh okay, you need to turn, 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 grip. Oh, the wheels exploded. Yeah, right at 520. Oh, okay, the rocket has detached. Uh-oh, that's a br Oh, that's a pole. There goes the- Oh, it's still active. Yeah, it's just flying all over the place, and we are going through the sky. Okay, we got to hit a car in slow motion. Okay, I see an innocent car there. We're going to hit it at over 300 miles per hour. Come on. Oh, oh man. It's like the back seats just ended up in the front seat. Oh, uh, we're going to hit anybody else? Oh, uh, we're traveling. Our jet hasn't detached this time. It's still active, though, so it's going to make us fly. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, slow mo off. We we're lethal. Okay, I should probably. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You, you, what do you think when the police show up and they just see the dragster hanging in the uh, the light pole here, the the stoplight? They're just pulling up, really confused right now. Oh. Yeah, I told you he was confused. He hit a pole. All right, folks, it is time. So let's go ahead and go to the environment. Let's put it on play. Maybe we'll start kind of at a, uh, a sunset and we'll see how quickly it takes for the lights to turn on. Actually, I think they're on always. I think it's actually a certain spot you see. We'll start it about right here. So yeah, it's gonna be a little dark, but I think this will work. Uh, hold on, let's turn that. Actually, let's go even darker. Uh, oh, by the way, everybody's headlights are on, so that is working. That's good. There we go. So that's a little better position with the uh, the moon there. All right, let's turn the headlights on. Better get our brights on. Uh, this is weird. Um, yeah, let's do this camera. Uh, by the way, you might see a little lag. It definitely uh, hurts the frame rate, this map, when you turn it to night. But it's not terrible. I need to get a better uh, vehicle as far as headlights. I thought the Lamborghini would be cool, but... Yeah, it is kind of tough to see, to be honest with you. Hold on, let's try third person. Is that better? That's actually a little bit better. Whoa, jeez. Uh, I gotta admit, the cop lights illuminating. That's pretty cool. Now, there is another uh, light with maps by the same mod creator. They actually did East Coast USA. Of course, that's a, a little bit more of a, a wooded area, so I don't think you're gonna see a huge difference, except for maybe in the towns. Uh, but... This is what I really wanted to see. Oh, you can see the police lights. That's cool. Okay, let's go into town real quick. You know, it's not hurting my frames per second too bad. Like, I can feel it occasionally when I turn. Oh, watch out! But yeah, it's not terrible. But I do want to maybe get a vehicle here in a second that's got like a light bar or something uh, to give me a little bit more light in the front. Because it still just doesn't look quite natural. I'm hoping that maybe eventually the actual uh, devs will add like a, a proper night version. This is really good. Uh, you never know. Maybe this is as good as it gets when it comes to lights in BeamNG, but I don't know. I'm kind of curious about that. All right, we're escaping into the city. All right, I must admit the city looks pretty good. I like the whole fact that the skyscrapers are all lit up now. All right, let's go through here. But yeah, like through here, I, I feel like maybe there just isn't enough lights actually built into the map. Because the light poles do a really decent job at lighting up their areas, but there's just not enough. Like, I feel like you would need to add at least double to get the streets, like, really well lit. Oh, this is cool. All right, this is dangerous, though. Oh, jeez. Uh, the cops are all angry at us. I don't have an escape point. I was just wanting to run from them here. Uh, this is still neat, though. Oh, okay. Oh, this one right in front of us. On. Uh, oh, where are you going, buddy? Here, let's go to the right. I feel like we're in too much of an OP vehicle. I mean, it's the Lamborghini. I don't think there's any cops spawned in that can keep up with it. Oh, look at the roadblock. That looks cool. Uh, on the top up on the curb. Oh, that's not good for Lamborghinis. Okay, I think the bumper might be broken. Oh, this area looks really well lit. That looks cool. All right, here we go. Shoot down the big hill. This is safe. Oh, <laughs> that's incredible. Uh-oh. Oh, I think we might have broken something. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is going to suck. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, the engine almost fell out. That's something you don't see every day. All right. Well, I would say that is a successful escape. I mean, we died, but they didn't catch us at any point. All right, folks. We need to go for something that's got some uh, overhead lights. Uh, I mean, we can really install them on anything. Uh, let's just do this off-roader here. Uh-oh. Here come the cops. Oh. Okay, they despawned as soon as they, uh, I guess as soon as this showed up. All right. Oh, is that actually overheads? That might not be overhead lights. I think they are, right? Oh, let's see how to, how do I activate those? Oh, and I think it's alt in. Does that activate them? Why does it seem like those are actually not fog lights? Hold on, let me try to find a different vehicle. Actually, I know what I want to use. Let's use this one. This one's got some really cool lights at the front. There we go. All right, so now look at that. We got plenty of light. We could totally do this from the uh, hood here. All right, so let's go get the uh, cops ticked off. Hey, cop. No, he doesn't seem to be too mad. You know, I think a Utah at night would be good. So maybe get some uh, extra lights on the highway. And then, of course, you have like some of the gas stations and stuff there would be nice and uh, well lit. But I feel like that would be a really cool map. 
Uh, are the cops after us right now? Hello? I'm speeding by you at 150. Did that not make him angry? Han, I know how to make him angry. Let's go head on. Oh, drifted around. Okay, swing it around this way. Yay! <laughs> oh, too much. <laughs> Didn't mean... Oh, they're mad. I saw lights up ahead. Uh, we're going to play chicken at night with the highway. This seems like a good idea, right? I see lights. Hello, copper. Ooh. This is kind of insane because... I don't know. I guess it's the lighting system in BMG. Like, headlights don't look quite right. So, they're not as bright as they are in, like, real life. Like, I can hardly tell. Like, there is a car ahead of us, but... Oh, actually, is he going... No, he's going right at us. Yeah, you would see the headlights a lot sooner. So, maybe that'll get it worked on because I would like to see an overhaul of, like, the night lighting. So, I feel like there's a, a big missed opportunity. And, oh, we got to go to the toll booth. Mm, there we go. Oh, geez, that's our exit. That's our exit. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, we're still good. We knocked off a light. Uh, do we have radiator damage? I don't think we do, actually. All right, the cops have stopped us. Hold on, go to the outside. Yeah, I don't think I can do a whole episode in night lighting, but, I mean, this is pretty cool. Oh, let's go up towards the mountains here. This is sweet. I think the only episodes we really do in night lighting anyways are the ghost ones, but I don't think that map's seen an update. I'd like to see a new ghost map in g That'd be cool. Oh, actually, the sun's coming up. This is kind of cool looking. So maybe you can start your police chases either uh, maybe late at night or... Uh-oh. Did we lose a tire? I think we did. Uh, no, I think it's just wobbly. So yeah, you can start your police chase. Oh, the back one's destroyed. That's what it is. Yeah, you can't really continue. Actually, I say I can't continue. Uh, we're still going. But yeah, that's cool seeing that transition from night to uh, sunrise. So yeah, you could start maybe your chases at sunset and go into the night. That'd be cool. Uh-oh, this thing is totally busted right now. Up, 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 up. I think we just lost. Yep, that is a rock. On. Are we parked? No, how is it still driving? I guess it is an all-wheel drive. Uh, but that left rear is just horrible. And up. Look at the pretty sun. It's coming up. You got the sun rays coming through. Beautiful looking. Uh-oh. Uh up. Oh, oh. oh, this is bad. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. Let's just park it in the house. There we go. So, two very, very cool mods. I'll have links down in the description. Like I said, the Dragsters, it's uh, available through a Patreon. And then uh, the map here, this is actually available on the Beam and G website. So, pretty cool. I would like to see some uh, lighting improvements. I don't think it's due to the mod maker. They could be like in Beam and G itself. Uh, because I feel like night has a lot of potential inside of this game. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.